right there. Okay. Yeah, they're getting ready to come for reals. <laughs> <laughs> Play to get them started. Play. invited here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give worth and recognition to the beauty of love, and to add our best wishes to the words that we unite Lucy and Robert in marriage. From the time they have known each other, their love for and their understanding of each other has grown and matured, and today is the day that they have chosen to become husband and wife. The marriage ceremony marks the coming together of two souls, two individuals who are deeply in love. Embarking on the commitment of married life represents one of life's greatest challenges, and it yields some of life's greatest rewards. Lucy and Robert, life is given to us as individuals, and yet we, we must learn to live together. Love is given to us by our family and by our friends. We learn to love by being loved. Learning to love and living together are the shared goals of a married life. Psalm 1 says, Blessed are the man and woman who have grown beyond themselves and have seen through their separations. They delight in the ways and the things they delight in the way things are and keep their hearts open day and night. They are like trees planted near flowing rivers, which bear fruit when they are ready. Their leaves will not fall or wither. Everything they do will succeed. This is our hope and our prayer for you on your wedding day, and that you will be as loyal to each other as was Ruth when she said the following words from Ruth 1, verses 16 through 17. Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Where thou diest, I will die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part me and me. Amen. Your vows represent the commitment that you will make here today, and that is the commitment to share love and life together, no matter what circumstances may arise. Once you were whole alone, now you are whole with each other. And I will now ask you to state your intention and promises to each other. And if you will please join hands. Uh, there you go. Or you hands. can do it. You can do it. All right. Robert, do you take Lucy to be your wife? I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her? I do. Forsaking all others and holding only unto her? I do. And Lucy, do you take Robert to be your husband? I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him? I do. Forsaking all others and holding only unto him? I do. 
and now we are in young lady. Oh, we're ready for the wedding ring. <laughs> 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 The wedding rings are an outward and visible sign of the inward spiritual grace and the unbroken circle of love, signifying to all the union of this man and his woman. Uh, Robert, please repeat after me as you place the ring on your wife's hand. I, Robert, I, Robert take the Lucy to be my wife, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, for which you're for poor. And I promise my love to you forevermore. And I promise my love to you forevermore. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Lucy, uh, please look me after me as you make this ring on your husband's finger. I, Lucy, take thee, Robert. I, Lucy, take thee. To be my husband. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For which are for poor. For which are for And I promise my love to you forevermore. A marriage ceremony represents one of life's greatest commitments but it is also a declaration of love. I would now like to read to you what Paul wrote of love in a letter to the Corinthians. This is a true model of love, and I hope it is one that you will pursue in your marriage. Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud. Love is never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable or touchy. Love does not hold grudges and will hardly notice when others do it wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth goes down. If you love someone, you will be loyal to them, no matter what the cost. You will always believe in them, always expect the best in them, and always stand your ground in defense of them. Lucy and Robert, as the two of you come into this marriage today and remind you as husband and wife, and as you on this day, you refer to your faith and love for one another. I would ask that you always remember to cherish each other as a special and unique individual that you Respect the thoughts and ideas and suggestions of one another with each day that you may share it together. From this day forward, you will be each other's home and comfort and refuge, and your marriage will be strengthened by the love between you. And now, before I pronounce you, I would just like to offer a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, our hearts are filled with happiness and joy on Lucy and Robert's wedding day. As they come before you, pledging their hearts and their lives to one another, grant that they may be ever true and loving, living together in such a way as to never bring shame or heartbreak into their marriage. Temper their hearts with kindness and understanding. Rid them of all pretense or jealousy. Help them to remember to be each other's best friend and guide so that together they may meet the cares of life more bravely. With the passage of time, may they find great contentment in their senior companionship, and may the home they are creating today truly be a place of love and harmony as we live, <laughs> where spirit is always present. Bless this marriage, we pray, and walk beside them throughout all of their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lucy and Robert, inasmuch as the two of you have agreed to live together as married people, you will promise your love for each other by your vows, 
by the giving and receiving of the grace, and by the joining of the hands, and so by the power that is vested in me, and by the power of your blood, I now declare you to be husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the newly wedded couple.